out of cycle update. $26 million in funds liquidated on the AVE platform. CryptoTalk.fm, my name is Leister. I'm your host, and yes, I pronounced it AVE, and I'm going to keep pronouncing it AVE. I'm not doing this Ave Maria nonsense. It's AVE, because another person brought up a good point. If we were talking Aaron, you know, two A's, Aaron, it's smooth, right? Aaron, Ave, you wouldn't say Aaron. Some of you might, and you shouldn't, because you sound like an idiot. It's Ave, and that's what I'm going to stick with. Anyway, Ave was the platform affected by a liquidation event, not Ave specifically, but one of the forks. That's what I'm talking about, because you might be in this business, and I've said multiple times, first of all, are, is it making sense yet? Is it clicking yet when I tell you that we're not decentralized and it's heavily centralized and it's risky and it's gambling? Is it making sense when I tell you not to leave your tokens in some exchange, whether centralized or quote decentralized? Is it making sense when I implore you not to get your tokens took by trusting it to some of these devs? Is it making sense when I, I'm begging and pleading and I'm trying to get people to understand we, this is what can happen. And you didn't get rug pulled. This was an innocent, innocuous error made by a human. But the point is, an innocent, innocuous error by a human caused $26 million in funds to get took from people. Here's what happened. Pack Finance. Pack Finance is a fork on a platform. What happens is Pack Finance issues credit. So think of like CoinRabbit and other similar platforms. And I covered... Some like Dex Finance and other ones that do, you know, they're acting like banks, they're letting borrowing credit and all this. And I said, I'm not a fan of this. It's too risky. It's too problematic. We're not mature enough to do this. Nobody listened to me, give my credit. Now here we are and people lost $26 million of tokens getting took. But the, you know, let me, I digress. I'm back. So Ave, okay, Ave comes out and they say this happened, okay. Quote, a random Ave fork in blast. So that's a different thing. I'm not going to detail. Reduce the liquidation threshold instead of loan to value ratio. So stop. So here's, I want to explain this now. When you take out loans of any, it doesn't matter crypto or not. When you take out loans, when they need to take back collateral. So let's say crypto in this case, but it could be a car. It could be a house, whatever collateral. There's what's referred to as a liquidation threshold. The liquidation threshold says that in cryptocurrency specifically, this is worse than on the like car or whatever. If the value of said goes down to a certain point, so you're creating a risk threshold and it says, if it gets down to a certain point, we need to liquidate the assets because you're already at that point. The liquidation threshold in most cases is, you know, like 10%, 20% above the fair value of whatever it is. The fair value is usually calculated in what's referred to as loan to value ratio. If you've ever bought a home, it's a similar situation. What they want to understand, what's the value of the property compared to the loan that you're asking for, which drives the request for a down payment. Because they, the bank doesn't want to pay for your house in total. They want you to have some skin in the game. So the skin in the game is that buffer. You are putting money in there. There are down payment assistant programs to try to offset it, but then they have other things like mortgage insurance and so on. The point is, is that this loan to value situation, what the dev was trying to do on PAC Finance was adjust the loan to value ratio. So in this case, let's say it's a 20% ratio. They were trying to adjust it upwards or downwards, which would not affect existing loans. It would affect net new loans. Instead, because they screwed up, they affected the liquidation threshold and I'm assuming that they dropped it. So they basically made that buffer lower to where it's, closer in terms of the change of the price of the assets, the cryptocurrency in this, in this point. And it triggered these liquidations because these people were either very close to that threshold or it kicked them over the threshold and triggered a liquidation event. This all came from one wallet. It was restaked ether that was in place with this business. The developer basically changed a function in a proxy contract. And if you heard me criticize proxy contracts, this is why. You can't know if there's this sketchy function out here that can affect all your cryptocurrency. And I'm sure that it was audited, but the point is because that function is there, it creates a risk. So if you leave your stuff in there, this is the kind of thing that can happen where it may not be malicious at all. It may just be incompetent devs and they're hiding it in the proxy contract and the proxy contract allows these changes. There was no notice to people about the change. 
There was no delay in the change. It was just roll to prod. We're ready for prod to do, do, do. And then triggers millions of dollars to be lost. Now, I want you to just picture in your mind. Do you want this at a wide scale? Do you want this on the mainstream? Do you really think this is safe enough to replace the banking industry? I don't. In the banking industry, it's extremely difficult for one person to completely take your assets. Is it possible? Yeah. Like if a bank shuts down and you had deposits in there, they can lock you out, but it's rare. It's extremely rare. But here, one dev, and they can screw you. Do, 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 do. In banks, they have cash on hand da, 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 and manual process to work around it. So I'm just saying, this is why I don't like these cryptocurrency things trying to act like a bank when they're not ready and people get their tokens took to the tune of $26 million lost, roughly 244 ETH. Pack Finance came out and said, yes, we screwed up. We're going to make you whole. We'll get it right once we figure this out. And the funny part that I laughed at is, quote, going forward, we will ensure discussions are pre-planned by creating a management agreement, time lock, and forum for all future upgrades. Here's the thing. Ask yourself, why would they have not had that up front? Why would they have not done that up front? Because these crypto projects don't know what the fuck they're doing. They just rush into something and they don't stop and act like a real business before you do all these lofty things. This is the thing that's going to kill every single one of these crypto projects. They don't do the fundamentals first. They wait till they get breached and people get harmed. And then all of a sudden it's, okay, we better catch up on this. No, I don't sell that. That's why I'm so critical of all these that act this way and some of these ones with the lofty visions and some of the ones that force you to tell a scam and some of the ones that don't want regulation because they're not ready for this crap. They're not ready. I don't like seeing people get $26 million taken from them because the developer didn't know what they were doing and leadership is really to blame because they didn't set these fundamentals in place up front to negate the risk that this happened. It's gonna happen, but at least have some controls to mitigate it. At minimum, you should have an agreement a plan, multi-sig, you know, five or six people who agree, the time is scheduled, you notify people. This is what real businesses do. They're not acting like a real business because they don't want to, because that's not the way crypto works, because it's run by kids who say the word G and say the word Keck, and here it is. So pack finance, if you're in it, you may have gotten breached, I can't say, because I stay away from that crap. I'm just informing in case somebody was in it so you're aware, allegedly they're gonna make it whole. You may have got some sort of notification, possibly in your email that you've been ducking for years.